Welcome back to the bulk. I'm weighing in at 89.2 kg today, I think, or maybe 89.3, one of the two. Either way, it'll be on screen for you right now. And yeah, I mean, that's after an absolutely mental night of eating, <laughs> basically. Yeah, I had some family friends over, as I mentioned at the end of last video. And yeah, ate quite a lot of meats and cheeses. So yeah, lots of protein in there, but also lots of fat in there. And yeah, need to try and dial it back a little bit for the next day or two. Although it is Christmas Eve today and Christmas, therefore Christmas Day tomorrow. So yeah, I'm not going to make any promises and I'm not going to be too restrictive with myself um, in terms of eating because, hey, I mean, it's Christmas and, you know, what's the point in working this hard all year to not be able to enjoy your food? And I'm not saying I'm just going to go eat a load of junk food. Like, no, that's, I just don't do that. I don't, eat, I don't enjoy eating junk food. Like, I don't enjoy eating chocolate and sweets and crisps and all that shit and burgers and all. I, I don't enjoy that. I only enjoy eating healthy food. It's just in terms of quantities, really. So, anyway, let me stop waffling on about that. Today, we're training legs. Now, the gym is closed because it's Christmas. So gonna be a bit of a home workout for you. So should be a very different video to what I usually record. Although some things are gonna remain the same. Gonna be eating still and gonna be training still. Anyway, let's go get some breakfast. So first up for some breakfast, I've got scrambled eggs with avocado as per usual. Then for my pre-workout meal, I've got some porridge oats with milk, banana, pear, and cinnamon. Right, so home leg workout in the garden i'm not sure how well the mic's going to pick this up as it's really windy outside here uh which is fairly annoying but should not affect the quality of the workout but we've got some uh 30 kg dumbbells here what, 29 and a half kilos 30 kilos thereabouts doesn't really matter uh we're going to start off with some romanian deadlifts and yeah enough talking let's get to it <coughs> too bad not too bad right so on to my third set of Romanian deadlifts and gonna be honest they're not feeling that great today but I don't really have any other options since I'm in my garden so can't really do hamstring curls don't think hip thrust would be any better so I'm stuck with these but just really trying to focus on the stretch of my hamstrings as much as possible and yeah wrap it out anyway Ugh. <sighs> 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 
Right, so that is five sets of Romanian deadlifts done now. And I'm going to move on to some squats. And I'm probably going to leave it with just that, to be honest. Just five sets of RDLs and then five sets of these squats I'm about to do. And I'll call it a day on legs because, yeah, I just haven't got a lot of equipment at my disposal here. Weather's shit. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> I think I can get away with this as just a bit of an off day where I'm just going through the motions and... Keeping the habit really is the main point of today's session. It's not about having the most intense leg day of my life, but yeah, just keeping with it, keeping with the compound movements. And yeah, I mean, when I'm in Poland, I think the gym I'm gonna be at will have access to a leg extension and leg curl. So yeah, should be able to get some good leg sessions in there. So yeah, not too worried at all. Anyway, let's crack on with some squats. Definitely need the uh, narrower stance there. That adjustment I made really made the set doable. Because otherwise, I mean, my dumbbells are just so fucking big <laughs> that they get, out, get in the way of everything. It's because they're like sand weights. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get some more sets in. Right now, it's time for my fifth and final set of squats and my last set of the workout. And this time, I'm going to be doing some long head partials. I did it for the last set and it was feeling pretty good. So, yeah, let's get to it. Let's go get some protein in. Then for some post-workout protein, I've got a beef burger with some veggies. Then next up, I've got Greek yogurt with mixed nuts, satsuma, and apple. Then I've got my second bowl of porridge for the day, exact same as before. Right, so I'm recording this just before we have some family friends coming over once again, as it is Christmas Eve. So... Before I go to bed, I will add in my calorie totals for the day on screen right now. So I'm guessing it's gonna be about four and a half thousand to 5,000 calories, something like that. I mean, at the time of recording, I'm spot on my target of 3,750 calories and hit all my protein and carb targets and all that good stuff. So yeah, it depends how ham I go with the snacks really. So yeah, we'll see. And Either way, whatever you see on the screen, it will just be an estimate anyway, so I wouldn't read into it too much. But yeah, so today, a leg day at home with my dumbbells. Not the greatest workout ever, I'll be honest. I mean, only 10 sets total, so a bit of a lackluster leg day. But hey, I did the best with what I had and the circumstances and honestly, a lack of motivation because it's like that, just that time of the year where you're not really doing a lot with your days, you're focusing on spending time with the family really so yeah but still got it in still kept the habit ticking over and I was really thinking to be honest like the intensity of that workout today was the same as workouts I was doing about four or five months back before I got a gym membership at my local gym 
And it's kind of crazy to think how far I've come in terms of the intensity of my workouts. So yeah, definitely on the right trajectory overall, for sure. I mean, maybe another couple of lackluster workouts ahead until the new year as my access to gyms is very limited. I mean, tomorrow and Boxing Day, the gym's closed again. Then off to Poland on the 27th. Then back on the 30th or the 30th. Yeah, back on the 30th, but too late for a gym session that day. And then it's closed New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. So I probably won't get back into my gym until the 2nd of Jan. So hopefully the hotel that we're staying at has some good gym equipment so I can get some good workouts in. I think it does, but it was kind of hard to tell from the pictures I looked at. But yeah, going to be lots of lovely food over there in Poland. I can't wait. And yeah, lovely times ahead over the next few days for Christmas. Anyway, tomorrow... Christmas Day, I'm going to get a cheeky little arm pump in. At least that's the plan. We'll see. Obviously, it's kind of a bit weather dependent with my, only having access to my dumbbells and the only space to use them being outside. But yeah, we'll see. And if I do have to take a rest day, it's not the end of the world. But I'm still going to try and get an arm workout in if I can. Anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next one.